Everybody, we are now on to NCAA basketball. It has been absolutely amazing. And now we're getting down to the final wire, the final four, the Elite Eight, and then, of course, obviously the championship. Uh, but tonight we're going to go ahead and discuss these Illinois, Illini, uh, UConn, the UConn Huskies, as well as the Clemson Tigers and the Crimson Tide. Um, Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Click that bell, turn on your notifications so you don't miss a stream. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into a prediction for you guys here. I will not be streaming the games tonight. I will be streaming the championship with you guys. I will be streaming the championship with you guys. Unfortunately, I have had some stuff going on, um, you know, dealing with the health. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, I've had to make some adjustments and really, really... um, you know, just start, start taking care of myself a little bit more. Start taking care of, care of myself a little bit more. And uh, so we're going to leave it at that. With that said, um, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We're going to get right into it. I'm not going to take up too much of your time because the game is coming on soon. Um, so let me just share this here. We'll start off with Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just uh, bring this out here. All right, come on, Jay. It's, it hasn't been that long now. Come on. Uh, here we go. All right. Can I make this bigger? Make this bigger. There we go. All right. So obviously we got Illinois versus UConn. Illinois twenty nine and eight. UConn is 34 and 3. UConn is the number one seed. Uh, Illinois number three. The game's going to be at 6.09 on TBS. Uh, UConn's favored by eight and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Eight and a half. As far as the over under, it's going to be 154.5. Uh, Illinois is thir- plus 320 on the money line. UConn Huskies are minus 410 on the money line. Uh, as far as the matchup predictor, you've got 24.1% for Illinois and 75.9% for UConn, which rightfully so. UConn has been just absolutely, absolutely amazing so far. But, hey, we're not going to count Illinois out because they've been balling as well and they've made it this far. Uh, obviously, Shannon, as far as your season leaders, averaging 23.5. Uh, Newton, averaging 15.3. As far as the rebounds go, we got Gary Ayer with 6.2. Uh, Klingon with 7.4. As far as the assists, you got Damas averaging 4. And uh, Newton averaging 6.1. Uh, getting into Illinois last five, right? It beat ISU 72-69. to 69, uh, DUQ at 89-63. Moore 85-69. Wisconsin 93-87. And Nebraska 98-87. Uh, UConn last five. SDSU 82-52. And U 75-58. Uh, SCET 91.52, Marquette 73.57, and then SJU 95 to 90. So, yeah, where does that put us here? Realistically, I definitely think uh, this is going to be a close battle. We've seen a ton of upsets, we've seen some crazy stuff going on, and I'm not going to sit here and say that Illinois is going to do it. I know a lot of people are going to beat me up about it and be upset, but the reality is UConn's number one, right? They've been doing great. They've been doing fairly well on offense. Uh, You know, defense has done its job for the most part, but the offense has really been clicking. Uh, The the, the thing that I definitely want to see Illinois do is, you know, work on that man a little better. I know they try to focus on the zone more than not. Uh, but I would like to see, you know, Illinois really put up a fight against UConn because they are heavily favored, right? And the the fighting Illini at this point would be considered the underdogs. And you know how this goes, right? This is March Madness. We don't know who is going to really, really take this. With that said, uh, I'm going to have to go with UConn on this one, right? I'm going to I'm going to take the safe bet. Um, I do think that the spread is safe at eight and a half. I mean, for the most part, if you look at, you know, how UConn's win their games, 82, 52, a complete blowout, 75 to 58, a complete blowout, 91, 52, complete blowout. So yeah, you know, if UConn can get a a good steam 
good, have a good game ahead and keep going. Uh, don't really, you know, stop and and keep their foot on the on the gas. Then you won't have too much trouble. So yeah, I'm going to go with UConn. I will take them by the spread, eight and a half, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yeah, that's where we'll start. That's where we'll start. We'll get into Alabama and Clemson next. But I wanted to go ahead and hop in the chat with you guys and uh, hop in the chat with you guys first. Uh, so what do we got? Daniel Barry, what up, man? Shout out to you, Megan in the house. Lisa in the building says, hey, Jay, can you be so kind and send hugs to Baltimore because the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed on Tuesday morning? I'm okay. Uh, yeah, thoughts and prayers to everyone out in Baltimore or that's around that area. Um, and, of course, the the lives that were lost on the bridge. It's really unfortunate. Um, I don't want to get, you know, into conspiracies and things like that. I just want to say that, you know, rest in peace to those that were lost. Hopefully their families can heal and, you know, hopefully uh, the situation can be figured out and, and hopefully there wasn't any kind of malicious intent in regards to that situation. So yeah, shout out to you guys. Uh, Since I've got Illinois to win this game in a discussion, shout out to you, Lisa. DJ Gene, what up, man? going on with you ryan says you know you're supposed to check in jay when you're in my neighborhood someone told me that today uh you know unfortunately ryan i i've i've not been well unfortunately i've had to work on my health and all this other stuff so i haven't really been able to hop in front of the camera and stuff um so first and foremost i do have to apologize about that because i know that um you know march madness has always been a big big thing for us over the last almost five years now uh, so with that said, I will be doing the championship as far as streaming. Um, I will stream the actual championship. It'll be a good time. But uh, yeah, I've had I had to take some time off and uh, you know get get things back together. Get things back together. So next up, next up, ladies and gentlemen, next up, Clemson, Clemson and Alabama. Yeah, we'll get into this one here. Um, can I? Can I do it? Is that possible? Can we? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, yeah, we can. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, so before I get back in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and hop into this Clemson and Alabama game. Now, this one's going to be the late game, 8.49 p.m. It's going to be on TBS. Uh, Clemson, seed number six seed, Alabama number four. How about Alabama? Really, really just surprising everybody this this year and i really think that they've been a surprising factor now can they keep going that's going to be the question because clemson's no joke ladies and gentlemen uh let's go ahead and get into these stats here obviously like i said the game starts at 8 49 p.m it's going to be on tbs uh the spread is three and a half alabama is favored the over under is going to be 163 and a half uh, plus 140 on the money line for the Tigers and minus 165 for the Crimson Tide. The match predictor is going to be 32.4% for the Tigers, 67.6% for the Crimson Tide. As far as your seed and leaders, you have Hall averaging 18.4 points per game. Sears with 21.4. On the rebound side, you have Shiflin with 9.4. And then Nelson averaging 5.6. And on the assist side, you got Hunter averaging 3.1. And Estrada averaging 4.7. Getting over to Clemson's last five, you got, you know, the win against Arizona, 77-72. Uh, they beat Bay, 72-64. UNM, 77-56. Uh, lost to BC, 76-55. And then lost to Wake, 81-76. Alabama last five with the crushing, crushing defeat of the Tar Hills, I was absolutely surprised by this game. Uh, they beat the Tar Hills 89 to 87. They beat GCU 72 to 61. They beat COFC 109 to 96. Uh, lost to the Gators though, 102 to 88, and then lost to Arkansas. Those Razorbacks 92 to 88 in overtime. So, with that said, this is going to be a hell of a game. It's going to be a close one as well. I do think that you know Alabama is on this run right now where. I think it's going to be hard to stop. I think it's going to be hard to stop for the Tigers. With that said, 
It's not going to be easy. I do feel like this is going to be the same kind of situation that we've seen with the Tar Hills. The game comes down to the wire. <sighs> but I'm going to have to go with Clemson. I think it comes down to the wire. Clemson may pull it out and uh, take the win and move on, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's what we're going to see tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and take Clemson. Tonight, I will take them by the spread. I'll go Clemson by the three and a half. The three and a half. Uh, hop in the comments. Hop in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I'm crazy or not. But uh, yeah, I think Clemson take it. So I'm going to I'm gonna go UConn for the first game. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go Clemson Tigers for the late night game. And then obviously I'll do predictions tomorrow with you guys. In regards to those games, and I wish you all a happy Easter as well tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll chop it up now. We'll chop it up now uh, before the game starts. The game starts at 6.09, so I'll, I'll chop it up with you guys for another you know, 15, 15 minutes. Uh, Jade in the building. This is Canada in the house. DJ Gene, thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot, man. Damon, what up, yo? What's going on with you? Uh, Demis says, I just won a game. UConn been rolling through the tournament. They have, man. They have, you know, Duke surprising uh, Purdue. And you know, what's crazy is everybody, well, not everybody, but there was a few people who had called for Purdue, Purdue way back, weeks back. And I kind of wrote it off, but I had it in the back of my head. I was like, you know what? Purdue might actually do it. They might actually go all the way. And um, it's quite possible, but I've still got Duke right here as well. I've, I've you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of weird because I don't want them to be right. I don't want them to be like, oh, yeah, I said it was going to be Purdue the whole time. And I just sat there for weeks knowing that what the hell was going to happen. And it's like, it happens. Um, Shout out to you, Jada. Lisa says, go Clemson. Mason says, let's go Tiger. Shout out to you, Mason. Uh, Ryan, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little better, man. You know? Like it's taking it day by day, getting rest and things like that for, for, for sure. For sure. Uh, Ryan says, what are you doing for Easter tomorrow? Um, church. We're doing church. And then um, we're going to have dinner with the family, kids, you know, Easter egg thing and all that. And, um, you know, the, the, the standard, standard Easter, Easter stuff, you know, give thanks, give appreciation. And, um, you know, enjoy, enjoy what, what this moment means, you know, for, for different people, it means different things. So, you know, really appreciate what this day means and, and, you know, what it stands for and, um, go from there, man, go from there. Shout out to you, Darren. Happy Easter, everyone. God bless everyone. Good, good. Enjoying the sports. March madness has been March madness. NBA playoffs, uh, set up. Just baseball just kicked off. You can add a football league started to, Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. Um, I can't wait so I'm back at 100% so I can, you know, share these moments with you guys. And uh, we get back to having fun and, you know, all that, all that good stuff. But, yeah. Yeah, so, like I said, I will be streaming the actual championship game with you guys. And uh, we should hopefully get back to our regular scheduled programming. But I will be doing the predictions for tomorrow's games as well. I will be watching the games tonight. I'll be peeking in, you know, seeing what's going on. So we'll have the highlights and things to talk about as far as who's going to move on and do what. But, um, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm excited. Um, I feel, like I said, I feel like I'm getting back to, uh, I'm not 100%, but I'm probably right around like 85. Right around like 85%. And over the next couple of weeks, I should be back at a hundred. Um, so yeah, yeah, feels good. I remember that song. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good. Remember that song back in the day. <laughs> um. So yeah, and as far as col uh, girls, girls college right now, right? That's going off, and there's there's so much craziness going on. Caitlin Clark and company, right? They're taking care of business right now. Um, what's the current score over there? No, they won. Yeah, they won. 89 to 68. They beat Colorado. So, uh, yeah, Caitlin Clark handling business, you know. 
and they'll uh, push past Colorado. There it is. Caitlin Clark. Listen, we, we talked about, um, we had talked about Caitlin Clark a while ago in regards to, in regards to, you know, her moving on to the WNBA and things like that after this season. And I was basically saying like how I, I thought that she needs to win a championship before she moves on. Right. Because I feel like, I feel like that's something that needs to go under the belt because it's not a knock at her talent because we know she's talented, right? I think it's more so just putting that, that, you know, notch under the belt, right? Adding that to the list of accolades, adding that to the list of things that she's accomplished before she gets to the WNBA is kind of like that solidifying, like, Hey, she, she did it. She's progressed and had this moment and, and done it. Um, now that's not to say that if she doesn't do it, that she can't go to the WNBA and still be a star, but I do think her, you know, if she can get to a championship and win it, that just makes it all the better. And that writes that story that completes that chapter. So she can move on and, uh, you know, definitely go on, go on and be great. And it's not a, not a question. Um, you know, without a doubt, she's, she's, you know, one of a kind talent amongst others, you know, in, in college right now. And I think, um, you know, she's, she's brought a different kind of energy to the game. She's definitely brought a different kind of, uh, I say a different kind of obviously energy, but a a different kind of, I want to say like aura to it, right? There's a lot of people right now who want to watch, you know, women's college and WNBA now and, you know, the tickets are selling like crazy and the jerseys are selling and people are buying the the memorabilia now and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's really cool. It's really cool because, you know, it sets up the, uh, the narrative for, you know, the little girls who want to go out there and, and play sports and things like that and want to go out there and be great. So sure. You know, I like it. It's great. I think, um, you know, she's going to do good things. But I do think that winning the championship at the college level, the collegiate level, would be probably the the most most important thing that she's facing right now. Because, like I said, it doesn't deter the fact of her talent because we know she's talented. But I think her winning the championship proves that she can carry a team. And I think that's going to be the biggest, biggest hurdle that she faces going down this road. If she can win a championship, it not only proves that she's a great talent, but she that but that she can put a team on her shoulders and 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 carry the load while leading them to to a you know to to a victory at that level. So yeah, there's a lot there, a lot going on, a lot of basketball still to play. Uh, there's some other people who feel certain ways about it, and you know um, don't want to see her do that, right? They want to have their own moment. They want to have their own shine and they've got the, you know, the, the rifle opportunity to do it as well. So who's going to, you know, step up and, you know, take, take that opportunity, you know? Um, but yeah, as far as the the topic in regards to Kaylin right now, she's, you know, she's at the top of the top of her game. Um, you know, all eyes are on her right now and this could be her moment for sure. For sure. Shout out to you, Lisa. Shout out to you. Uh, Darren says, yes, can't wait for the predictions on the championship game stream for that, for that blessed for that help. Jay. Amen, brother. Yeah, man, without a doubt. Um, like I said, we'll do the predictions for tomorrow and then we're, we'll actually stream the, uh, the championship game. And that's going to be a good, good time. I'm hyped for it. Like I said, it just took, you know, I haven't been feeling well. Um, I was overly fatigued and, um, dehydrated, all that kind of stuff. And so I had to, I had to take, take some time off and, and get right. And uh, it's really unfortunate because a lot of people don't realize that um, if you work a lot and you put a lot into anything that you do, um, sometimes you, you forget about, you know, yourself and you forget about your body and you forget about, you know, your, your mental and, you know, your spiritual, all that kind of stuff. And you kind of come secondary to everything else that's going on as far as, you know, work and trying to be successful and all that. So I had to take a step back and really, you know, really work on my health and, and all that kind of stuff. So that I, so I don't get burnt, burnt out and all that kind of stuff, not even from this, but from, you know, 
uh, the work that I do and, you know, the, the clients that I handle and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's been a lot, but with that said, we're, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. And, uh, I guess I'll be back for the, for the championship and all that good stuff. Uh, Lisa says, when will Iowa get a pro basketball team? You know, that's, that's a really good question because there's a lot of interest coming into Iowa right now. There's a lot of potential money opportunity that, that comes with that. Now here's the real question because I think, right. You always have to look at it from every, every angle. If you can, Caitlin Clark moves on. Who's going to step up? and replace that energy for Iowa. Who else is coming out of Iowa, right? What else is there in Iowa that can, you know, essentially take, take the baton or take the torch and keep that same energy for that area? Because if it's just Caitlin, then obviously it dies out. She moves on to the WNBA and it is what it is. But I, I think that, you know, if, if other people can step up and someone else can, you know, carry that torch or if multiple people can do it, then you may see a, you know, pro basketball team in Iowa, which would be absolutely crazy. But, you know, it, it like I said, I think it would require to understand what, what's in that market, uh, the kind of fan base, you know, that, that could be created because, you know, it always comes down to money. If the money's not right, obviously it's not, it's never going to happen. Um, if the money is right, then obviously, you know, they're crunching the numbers for that right now. But, Personally, in my opinion, I don't think that the money would be right for that kind of market. I mean, if they do create some kind of basketball team in that area, it probably wouldn't be in Iowa directly, but it'd be close by, you know, uh, just so they can grab talent from other places, but have it still close to that, you know, specific area. You know, I'm not sure how they do it. I'm sure someone's thinking about it right now because they want to capitalize on the buzz and the success of the, you know, the, of the, what the area is getting right now. And they don't want that to die off. So yeah. Yeah. Things could be very interesting as far as that, but I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. Shout out to you, Lisa. So yeah, with that said, um, right now you've got Baylor. Yeah, Baylor USC plans one point game, fourteen to thirteen, as uh, they get it going. And you guys have Illinois and UConn coming up shortly. So you guys enjoy the game. I thank you all for rocking with your boy Jay. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I may give a reaction later. I'm not sure, but for sure I'll be on tomorrow. We'll do some predictions and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Shout out to you guys. Much love to the Ranch Gang. Much love to the family, all the listeners, all the watchers. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you soon. Peace out. March Madness.